I'm going to show you how to transcribe your audio to text on a Mac. And the way I used to transcribe my YouTube audio to, to text is using Google Docs. There's a few issues with that. Lately, I found that when I play a YouTube video and I actually try to use the speech or the voice to text feature of Google Docs, it doesn't actually it doesn't actually transcribe anything anymore. And the other thing is, even when it did work, there was all this interference in the, within the room if it was somebody on the phone or background noise like the TV, could it even be noise from outside like traffic. This would just make uh, the text garbled and it would be quite frustrating, especially when you had a lot of audio to transcribe. Now, I found a little hack um, I'm, I've done it on a Mac and it's a driver called Soundflower and rather than the audio coming out the speakers and then feeding back into your computer through the microphone what we're using is a driver so that the audio from the source to the transcriber is exactly how it is and it's worked wonders for me. It's free and let's dive in and take a look at it. I'm going to play the YouTube video on the left and on the right in Google Docs I'm going to choose voice to text. Best financial moves you will ever make, not to mention a lot of the other benefits to just go along with owning a home. So here's exactly why you should not rent a home, why you should buy a home, and why you should smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm if you haven't done that already. Now first, before we go into the financial aspects of owning a home, let's go over some of these surface level arguments that you just can't put a price tag on. Like first, when you own a home, as we saw, the Google Voice typing just didn't seem to cut it. So I didn't get any text at all. So now we're going into the preferences and choosing the sound flower as the speakers as well as the microphones. And we're going to give this another try. So we're not going to hear any sound this time. And the reason is it's using the sound driver. Um, so nothing's going to come out of the speakers. But as you can see already, there is a lot more information coming through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and line up the audio to the video so that you can hear what it would be saying if the audio is coming out the speakers. A home. Let's go over some of these surface level arguments that you just can't put a price tag on. Like first, when you own a home, you're never going to have to worry about a landlord ever telling you what to do. Like this alone could be a huge motivator for people to go and buy a home rather than rent because we've all seen... So as you can see, the Soundflower driver made a big difference to my results of converting audio to text. We're now on a different computer. Um, this computer doesn't have Soundflower installed, as I'm demonstrating through the sound driver in system preferences. And I'm going to run through how to find and install the Soundflower drivers uh, so that you can have this working on your system as well. So the person who is responsible for this driver is Matting Walls. Um, we go to his GitHub and in his GitHub you can scroll down and go to the latest release. I'm using Catalina on this particular computer. You can go down and download the DMG file onto your Mac. Save that. I'm just going to chuck it into my desktop so I know where to find it. Save. Okay, once that's downloaded you can run it. Now there's something to be mindful here because when you run this it's actually going to have permissions issues and you're going to have to run it again. So if you just double click on it you're actually not going to be able to install it. So you have to right click and click on open. Then it'll give you the option to actually open that program. Now when you go to install it it's actually, I have to type in my password here but I use a fingerprint and it's saying it needs uh, a security preference. So I'm going to unlock the security and privacy that's just been popped up in front of me. I haven't clicked anything to get that. And I'm going to click on allow. Then I'm going to lock this back up again. And I'm going to go back to the installation. I'm going to close it and I'm going to start it again. The same way, right click and click on open and this time it'll go all the way through. So that's the only little glitch 
Well, not glitch, it's a security thing because it's not actually from the Apple Store or anything like that. So that's a little work around there. This takes a while to install. I've actually sped up the time to that I had to wait for this to install. Click on close and that's it. You're pretty much done. You're good to go. I'm going to go into sound just to show you the difference. Now you can see the sound flower, 64 channel and 2 channel. That's on the input. Let's go to the output. Same thing, 64 channel sound flowers in there. And you can also go to sound effects and we can also select sound flower in there. Okay. If you found this helpful, drop me a like and help me with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, if you didn't like it, also smash the dislike button, but please just uh, leave a comment on why so I can bring my best game next time. Cheers and thanks. Bye.